Now at eight, a missing persons case in Ohio leads investigators to Kentucky. What we know this morning. Then a family remembering their daughter one year later, how her legacy is living on today. From WDTN, the station that's working for you. This is 2 News Today on Dayton CW. Good morning, I'm Kat Hessman. A community coming together to purchase its electricity supply as one with the hope of paying a lower rate. It could become a reality in one area of Dayton. Robert Lowry is asking questions about the potential impact of electric aggregation. More jobs will prevent more crimes and more people, of course, going to jail. It's a vision Percy Vera hopes will become a reality. City officials said they may also look at the possibility of asking other communities to join lower the, way, the rates. But if all goes as planned, people in Dayton could be looking at cheaper electric bills as early as the end of the year. A great night to usher in summer with Kettering's annual block party. Our own Jamie Jarosik served as MC at the phrase. There was free food, music, and other entertainment. Officials also reopened the fountains at Lincoln Park and held a ribbon cutting ceremony on the new light tower at the phrase. The man accused in a Dayton shooting is scheduled to make his first court appearance today. Dayton detectives and the SoFast task force arrested Rodney O'Glespie yesterday on felonious assault charges. He's accused of shooting a man in the 4100 block of Kamer Avenue Tuesday night. The victim was taken to the hospital in critical condition. Police believe the incident is also connected to a shooting at a home on Benning Place a short time later. A woman was inside but not hurt by the gunfire. Well, you may need to scramble a few extra pennies or dollars for your eggs. Thanks to the bird flu, the price is reaching record highs. We stopped by Ashley's Pastry Shop in Oakwood. The owner tells us two weeks ago it cost them $33 for 30 pounds of eggs. Now it's $67 and could go higher. That's factored into the price, meaning you pick up the difference. Customers are going to see it at the grocery store. They're going to see it in other restaurants. They're going to see it in other dining establishments that they're going to go to. So it's just letting people know and keeping them informed that really is so very important. Wholesale consumer grade eggs increased 120% to a record $2.62 a dozen this week. The days of some elected officials deciding whether to give themselves a raise could soon be coming to an end. Ohio state legislators want a new commission to decide. Bierschel Edme is digging deeper into what the changes could mean for voters. Some state elected officials, like judges for instance, say they haven't had a pay raise since 2008. Right now, state legislators have the final say on that. The proposal is to appoint nine Ohioans to decide whether to increase or decrease pay. Ohio Senate President Keith Faber is efforting a change. The Republicans' resolution could impact who decides if your elected officials get pay raises. A $10 million construction project is what's working in the Miami Valley. Swain Medical Center in Beaver Creek announced today it's adding 30 beds and additional therapy space. The project is expected to get underway June 10th and be wrapped up by next spring. Swain is also in the process of completing expansion of its emergency department. Coming up on 2 News Today on Dayton CW, if you've got old appliances taking up space, your chance for some, your chance for some spring cleaning is on the way. Then, red, white, and blue, courtesy of a local favorite, how Marion's Pizza is making sure America's birthday is a hit.